Hey team! Hope you're doing amazing on this Sunday. Hello to Facebook or YouTube, wherever you are watching this video. Hope you're doing amazing. Now, today, or this evening, wherever you are in this world, um, I just want to talk about whatever's going on inside is what you will see outside. So whatever is going on here and in here is what's going to manifest in the physical. And I want to talk about this in a little bit more depth to really help. Hopefully we'll, we'll really, really help someone this evening, whether you're looking to move up in the world, whether you're looking to change your results, whether you want to feel happier, whether you're focusing on your fitness, whatever it is, this affects every single area of your life. Everything. Everything. <laughs> so really, really take note of, of what I'm about to say. So you can really tell, really think about this, really think about this. You can really tell where someone is at by looking at the results that they've got. Now, what do I mean by that? So the results that you have currently got are just a manifestation of previous thinking. So whatever is going on in your life right now, whether it's looking at your relationship, whether it's looking at your work, whether it's looking at your business, whether it's looking at your job, whatever is going on in your life right now is a manifestation of previous thinking. So whatever you have been thinking about up to this very single point. But good news, <laughs> if you are not happy with previous results, what you can do from this very point in time, from these words that are coming out my mouth, is changing your thinking will then change the results. So if you want to change something as of right this very, very second, you can choose to pick out new thoughts which form the new results that you actually want to happen in your life. But beware <laughs> that it's not going to happen necessarily this evening. It's not going to happen necessarily tomorrow. It's going to take that repetition and forming that new habit to then start forming the, the new image of whoever you want to be, forming the new image of your result. And you have to keep thinking about, just really focus on what you really, really want. Imagine this, whatever you are thinking about right this second literally just happens. If you're thinking about a blue car, it just pops up in front of you. If you if you were thinking about an ice cream, it just pops up in front of you. Imagine if whatever you thought about literally just happened within a second. Would you be more careful about what you're thinking about? <laughs> Ask yourself that really, really honest question. If whatever you thought about, whether it was good, whether it was negative, whether you were thinking about someone in a bad way, whether you were thinking about someone in a good way or something, if you're, if you thought it and then it happened, would you still think the same thoughts? Now, it may not happen that fast, and thankfully it doesn't happen that fast, because us as humans, it's natural for, you know, sometimes negative thoughts or whatever it is to, to come in. It's just, it's just our paradigm. It's, it's the way that we've been brought up. It's conditioning. It's, I, w I won't get that to the whole separate life, <laughs> um, but... It's a great way to actually really go within because whatever's going on the inside is reflected on the outside. It's really important to go within and start thinking if whatever I'm thinking about right now literally manifested or literally happened straight away, would you still think in the same way? And if the answer is no, then you can choose from this very, this exact point in time, like literally right now. You can choose to start thinking something different to start producing different results. Now, this is common sense, right? If you want something different, you need to do something different. Common sense, right? <laughs> so why do we think in the same way? Why do we do the same things expecting a different result? It's the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> we, do, we do the same things every day. We think the same things 
but we're, we're expecting a different result. We're expecting to wake up tomorrow and, it, and it's gonna be something different. It's silly, it's not common sense. So we need to change, first of all, what we're thinking and it may be that really look at the habits that you've got in your life as well. So if you're looking to get fitter, maybe it's changing that little extra treat that you have every single day and cutting that out. It's the gradual process of changing that habit over time. It's not going to change in a day. It's doing something on a daily basis. And the consistency over time is going to change the new habits. And this exact same applies to the thinking process as well. So if a lot of negative thoughts are coming into your mind, it's not that, you know, don't don't expect to suddenly start being the most positive person tomorrow if you have been thinking in a negative way for a long period of time. That in itself is going to take a process. But it's just being more consciously aware of the thoughts that are going on up here and starting to change them into what you really, really want to happen. So the, there's different ways of doing this. The, you could have a, you know, a classic journal. A big way is having a goal card to keep you something really focused on what you really, really want. Something that you read every day, something that there's so much power in having a goal card because not only, it's not just reading it, it's not just reading every single day, which is powerful as well, but you speak it. You have the physical things, even when you just touch it, you have, you put it in your pocket, you put it in your handbag, you hold it while you're, while you're brushing your teeth in the morning. It's that power of repetition that then really starts to create the new habit. But also the more you think about your goal, and if you haven't set a goal, please go and set one, because that will change your thinking in itself. It will change who you're listening to. If you have a big goal, you will only start to listen to people that can help you start working towards that goal. You're not, you, you're not going to be listening to, to negative Nancy Sour Steve anymore. You're going to be listening to and you're going to seek counsel from people that have achieved success. So your goal really determines on who you're listening to. That's probably a separate subject as well, but I wanted to highlight the importance of that. So if you don't have a goal, no matter what it is, whether it's financial, physical, relationships, whatever, if you don't have a goal, set one because that in itself will give you a focus. That in itself will change your thinking patterns. That in itself, when you wake up in the morning, you'll be excited to go, I'm working towards this. I'm working towards something. Us as humans want to have something to work and really progress towards. So start really holding that image in your mind of what you really, really want to happen. Other ways you could do it is setting up a vision board, something that you look at every single day and you put pretty pictures on there and it inspires you every single day. Every time you wake up going that, that you see it and then you start think. Have, have you ever bought a new car and then you just see that car everywhere? <laughs> Every, this, is, this happens to everyone because you're thinking about it. And it's not that there's suddenly, you know, for instance, if, if you have a, a mini, it's not that there's suddenly billions more minis on the road. It's just that you're more consciously aware of minis. So you're going to start noticing minis more. It's the same with, with whatever you're thinking about. So if you're always thinking negative and you've programmed your mind to think negative, you are going to pick up the negative in every situation. You are going to notice negative conversations. You are going to start speaking negatively. You're going to attract negative people into your life. So if you want to change it, you have to change inside first. Another massive example is others, other people are a complete reflection of who you are. So if you don't like people gossiping, if you don't like someone, a particular characteristic in someone or someone really, really bugs you, start really thinking about what really annoys you, what really pees you off. Because that is a reflection of something inside, whether it's something inside that you haven't liked about yourself previously or something that you may see inside. We can never 
we can never love and hate something at the same time. So as many different ways as we can get into that love frequency and that good frequency, we should never hate anything. We should always come from, always come from that sense of love. Um, but that brings me back to whatever you see on the outside is what's happening on the inside. So if you don't like how the outside is at the moment, look inside and go, how can I get better? How can I improve the situation? What are my thoughts currently producing? How can I change my thought patterns? How can I start focusing on what can I do better? How it's it's asking all these questions and they're just coming off my tongue because it's something that I wake up and ask myself every single day. But like I said, it's a process. It's getting to, into the habit of continually asking those questions. How can it improve? And it's it's almost like, you know, the, the rockets like off course, 95% or something, don't quote me on the statistic, on the way to the moon. So it's like you're keeping the rocket in in check the whole time and you're, you're swaying off the, the positivity line. So just over the next week until my next dive next Sunday, really monitor the thoughts that are going on up here. And if you don't want something to happen straight away that you're thinking about, notice it, recognize it, don't beat yourself up for it. Don't beat yourself up for it. Just notice it and then shift it into what you actually do want to happen. And trust me, things will start really happening. <laughs> they really, really will. Whatever we think about happens. Whatever we think we become, thoughts become things. Just start, start really, really remembering that. So guys, hope this really has helped someone again this evening. Be way more conscious of what's going on up here because this produces the results outside. So if you really want to start shifting those results, look with them. See you next Sunday.